All right, let's take a look outside now over downtown Detroit. It is a lot quieter out there than it was this time of the day yesterday when we had uh, some widespread rain moving through. And of course, later in the day where we had those big, loud, noisy thunderstorms uh, sweeping across Metro Detroit. Mm, I know. And when you when you see the damage reports, mm -hmm. the video, the pictures that have been coming in, it was pretty bad. It yeah, was. and I'm still collecting a lot of those pictures and I'm going to be showing those coming up in just a bit. But yeah, it's going to be much quieter for today. Happy to say. Uh, but we are tracking our next batch of rain that's getting closer and closer, especially near uh, areas to the west of the state of Michigan. So I'm thinking it's going to be here by this evening into tonight. From Ann Arbor at 51, Detroit's at 53, and Mount Clemens is at 54. And we will see a change here, and that's because this system just now passing or approaching Kansas City heading towards St. Louis. It's going to continue to move in this direction. So next in line, of course, is going to be the Chicago area and then eventually the city of Detroit. We'll have some time before it gets here. So because of that, we're expecting once again a decent start to the day. So the clouds will be out there. Temperatures in the 50s are just a stray shower for the bus stop forecast. Sunrise will be at 647 this morning, so we're already starting to, starting to brighten up the skies. We'll have a mix of some clouds throughout the course of the day. And then after the game, I'm thinking clouds will take over. Temperatures will stay in the 60s. We could reach the 70s today, but I'm thinking the clouds are going to keep that from happening. So we'll call it still nice, just not as nice as it was yesterday, temperature wise, that is. But once again, rain will be closing in, thinking most of it's going to hold off until this evening and tonight. Could be heavy at times, especially along the city of Detroit and point south. Numbers will be in the 50s and upper 40s, and some of that rain could stick around into your Friday morning. Then after that, the rain gets out of here, but so does the warmth. We're going to take a step back. Going with 61, that'll be on Friday, the 50s on Saturday and Sunday, but I want to point out the low temperatures over the weekend. Saturday night into Sunday morning, overnight lows could dip down cold enough where we could have some patchy frost out there, so just be aware of that if you were an early planter. We bounce back on Monday in the 60s and looking ahead for the first day of the draft. Temperatures will be into the 50s and it looks like we'll be cloudy but dry.